Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about antimicrobial therapy. Yes, drugs. Prescription drugs that can kill microbes. Terms you need to know. Chemotherapeutic agents. Well, chemo is going to be chemical, so it's going to be any chemical used in the medical practice. The big questions that y'all had for me were, what in the heck is the difference between antimicrobial and antibiotic? Check them out. Antimicrobial agents are any organic substance or synthetic substance that can treat disease caused by microorganisms. The key word there is or synthetic. Antibiotics, on the other hand, is a chemical substance produced by microorganisms, which can inhibit the growth or kill microorganisms. Okay, more terms. Bacterial cytal. Bacterial cytal agents destroy the bacteria. They kill them completely. If you look down here, bacteria cytal, these guys here kill the bacteria. Bacteria static. Static means to stay stable are the agents that are just going to inhibit reproduction. So they're not going to grow anymore. But it doesn't kill them. It doesn't harm them in any other way. So, uh, bacterial static keeps them, or keeps the bacteria from reproducing as long as the patient is taking the antibiotic. Once they go off of it, the bacteria can then grow, 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 and grow. The antibiotic spectrum. Well, we have broad spectrum antibiotics which can actually go ahead and kill mul uh, multiple different types of bacteria. You've got narrow spectrum that only kill maybe one or two specific bacteria. And then we have mix, or minimum inhibitory concentration, which is going to be talking about the amount that you have to do, the minimum amount that is needed to inhibit the growth of the bacteria. So those are the three things that you need to know for the spectrum. Now, attributes of an ideal microbial agent. First thing is it has to be selected and approved by the FDA for special characteristics that do not harm the host. Yes, we can have a few side effects, but nothing that actually hurts us. Nothing that actually hurts the host. Secondly, it must be soluble in bodily fluids so that it can actually disperse throughout the body. It can go and flow into the blood and throughout bodily fluids so it can disperse. Second, or third, sorry, selective toxicity. It must only hurt and be toxic to certain things. Not toxic to, not toxic to us, but to other certain things. Again, toxicity must not be easily altered. Just because you're running a temperature, the toxicity of the antibiotic should not be altered. Just because you're taking other medications, the toxicity of it should not be altered. So it should not change. Another key attribute is that it must be non-allergenic. It shouldn't cause us harm. We shouldn't be allergic to it. Again, resistance by microorganisms should not be easily required. We don't want those microorganisms becoming resistant too quickly, actually resistant at all. The drug must have a stable and long shelf life, and it must be reasonably priced or cost. Because if it costs too much, then we can't make enough, and then it can't go out to the public. So those are the ideal attributes. Now, classification. We classify them basically on three big things. We can classify them on chemical structure, the way they look. We can classify them on effects of the bacterial growth, whether they're bacterial cytal or bacterial static. Or we can classify antibiotics on their target site. What they're trying to hit. What is their target? Their target may be the cell wall synthesis. may stop cell wall synthesis. It may stop protein synthesis. It may stop nucleic acid synthesis. And it may inhibit the cell membrane function. So those are target sites. So here, we must get past the barriers to actually get to the bug. So if we hit these target sites, we can then squash out the bug. Now remember, help your antibiotics do their job by taking them as directed, finishing the full prescription even if you are feeling better, help prevent antibiotic resistance.
You are the next class of drug-resistant bacteria. As humans continue to abuse and overuse antibiotics, your rank will swell. So go out there and mutate. And remember that which does not kill you makes you stronger. <laughs>